Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, JD Moon and I'm coming at you guys with another Stamina DK build video for the Greymore patch. Um, I know everybody was like, oh, when are you going to release a build, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've been doing a little bit more no CP lately. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, just what I'm running in no CP. So this is going to be for primarily no CP and also uh, primarily for Battlegrounds because um, I'm not really liking where CP is at currently. Uh, so you won't really see me playing much of it, I don't think. Uh, I think you'll see me more in just in no CP. Um, so let's dive into it. This is gonna be the way of the fridge build. Um, so I'm gonna go over sets, gear, um, and uh, basically that's about it. We're not, And then I'm gonna also give you guys some footage as well, which is typically at the beginning of my videos, as you guys know. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll put on the gear that I'm running. So what I'm running on my body here is I'm running five piece Way of the Fire. All of these are going to be in pin. I'm running two pieces Blood Spawn. All of these are heavy, so I run seven heavy. Everything is in pin. All of these are going to have Hawkejo glyphs on them as well. Um, on my jewelry, I'm running New Moon Acolyte. All of these are going to be infused with weapon damage. And I'm also running a New Moon Maul. This is going to be Nern Honed. Um, and I'm running double dot poisons on the front bar and then on my back bar I'm running master's bow with uh, also gradual health drain poison Which is going to give us a dot and a nice uh, nice heal over time um, So let's go ahead and jump into skills real quick too so you guys can kind of see what I'm running here <clears throat> um, So on my front bar I've got executioner my number one slot I'm running venomous claw I'm running noxious breath and forward momentum um, I prefer forward momentum over rally. I don't really think that we need rally uh, on Stam DK. I would rather the uh, immunity. Uh, plus, you can kind of spam forward momentum because it is relatively cheap as well. Uh, I run also Camouflage Hunter. This is going to increase our weapon damage on the front bar um, as well as increase our crit modifier. Uh, I'm sorry, crit chance modifier. I run Take Flight on the front bar as well. On the back bar, I'm running Vigor, uh, Fragmented Shield. Volatile armor, uh, poison injection, cauterize, and corrosive armor. Um, so I'm running poison injection because for those of you who don't know what Master's Bow does, uh, so it's going to increase our weapon damage on the target by 301. Uh, so I run a charge Master's Bow on the back bar. Um, that's just going to give me higher chances to proc uh, poison status effect, which is which is definitely going to give it's going to give us more sustain. Um, so what's also really interesting about uh, Curse of Fire as well is when this procs, it will actually proc burning. Um, and burning is going to also help us out with our Magicka sustain. Um, so this, this set's actually really, really strong in no CP. And I've, I've also used it in CP as well. Um, if you guys have any questions about what my current CP setup is for CP, please just put a comment down in the, uh, down in the comment section and I'll, and I'll be sure to put that in there for you. Um, I also want to look at what I'm running for food and my Mundus Stone. So my Mundus Stone is going to be the Warrior. Uh, my food is going to be sugar, uh, the Sugar Skulls. Uh, this is going to, the Sugar Skulls in my opinion is probably the best food in the game currently. It's going to give you health recovery. It's also going to give you uh, max magicka, max health, and, and uh, max stam. Um, and it's, the, it's currently the highest max stat food in the game of all three sources. Um, 
So basically what you're going to do with this setup is you're, you're always going to want to fire that off real quick and get a quick heavy. Um, and then just run in, dot somebody up, and, and then you should be able to start executing at that point. Um, let's see. What else, what else can we go over here before we go dip out? That's about it for no CP. I don't really think we have anything else. Uh, you're definitely going to want to weave heavy and light attacks. Um, so if you look at, so this is our base, our base uh, weapon damage on the front bar is going to be 52, 53. With a resource buff, it's like almost 5,500 weapon damage. Uh, so it is really, really high. If you look at our pin too, we're sitting at 59.95 physical pin. Um, that is because of the mall. And we're also in no CP. So, and that's also going to be before breath too. So breath is going to also, so in no CP, we're going to be sitting around 10, 10k pin, uh, which is, which is quite a bit. So that, I mean, it's, this is the setup I've been running. I really, really enjoy it. Um, if you guys, like I said, have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to go into it with you guys. Uh, also, I do run an orc. Um, you can run this on a Nord. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a slight you're gonna be slightly bit more tanky on a Nord. Uh, if you run Nord, I would highly suggest possibly running um, medium armor. Like so, running like Way of the Fire on jewelry infused with uh, um, like New Moon medium on the body. Um, so I, I main bar. I'm, I'm sorry, I main body fire because I want it to proc on both bars. So when it comes to new moon, uh, I actually prefer not having new moon on my back bar because it, I don't want to increase the cost of my heals and all that stuff. So the objective is, is if you can if you can fire off the heavy in the in the poison inject really quick and then bar swap, you'll actually hit him with all the pin too and get the crit modifier. So uh, that is the way the fridge build. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I like to play it. I've been having a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the footage. So without further ado, I will see you guys out there on the battlefield, and uh, I'll be coming out with a few more builds for this patch, like Stamina, uh, Sork, and also uh, Magicka DK. Those build videos are coming. See you guys out there, and have fun.